Blame Truth here, and <laughs> I'm going to need everybody to listen to me. Okay? This video is very important. Everybody listen. This is uh, going to be a weird one. I'm actually going to go into some positives first before I get into the negatives. There's this weird thing. I, I feel like I can't criticize anything without these butthurt little soy boys just saying like, BT, you don't like anything. Which is the funniest thing to me because I, I only talk about like a couple things on the internet. I have more interest than just that. Uh, just last night, I saw Late Night with the Devil. Great new horror movie. A lot of new horror movies are absolute dog shit. Guys, I'm sorry most things suck now. I really am, but I'm not gonna, like, not share my opinions on things and pretend to like something. There is nothing worse than pretending to like something when you actually don't like it. I can't think of a more weak-minded thing to do than that, so I'm not gonna ever do that. But no, I saw Late Night with the Devil last night. I enjoyed it. Uh, just recently, I, I have to even commend Sledgehammer Games and put this on record. If you say I'm never positive about Call of Duty, I actually tweeted something positive about Sledgehammer Games. And I said, wow, this new game mode they came out with, this 420 get high game mode or whatever, looks pretty cool. It's very innovative. I, I like how it looks. It's clear they spent a lot of time on it, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, it was this very limited time game mode, literally for 4 hours and 20 minutes. Very edgy. Um, <laughs> you could play this kind of like parkour, futuristic, retro wave game mode. It looked cool. I didn't get a chance to play it, though, because I was doing fucking laundry! So that's what I get for... Praising Sledgehammer Games, I guess. I don't know. I, I went to the laundromat, did my laundry, came back, the, the game mode was gone right after I praised it. So that's cool. So, like, I, I'm not completely negative here. I will give credit where credit's due, and I think Sledgehammer, I really do think Sledgehammer, put this on record, stamp it, I think they have done a great job this year so far, especially with this last content update. I think that the core game and all the stuff they're adding and all, them listening to the feedback of the community is good, but it's like... Man, they can only do so much because they're working with a DLC. They're working with the Infinity Ward's DLC, and from what I understand, they still have to run a lot of stuff by Infinity Ward. It's just a mess, dude. So I, I, I'm going to give Sledgehammer themselves, the devs themselves, I'm going to say great job, seriously. It's, it's like everything else that's not them that's related to the game, that is the issue. Skill-based matchmaking, horrendous servers, cheating epidemics, false bans. I had some people saying I was getting paid off by saying that uh, the company, uh, Activision, Blizzard, or whatever, don't do false bans. And, um, you know, I'm just taking, I'm getting paid off by streamers want me to take up for them. Guys, for one, I don't really like talk to 99% of these generic short-haired white guys that are content creators nowadays. That's literally most content creators. Oh, it's a short-haired white guy. And he's kind of good at FPS. Wow, very interesting. This this BAMS guy or whatever, I think got caught for cheating or banned for cheating or whatever. And he was making the rounds and I'm like, who in the hell is this? I thought it was Bam Marchera at first. Maybe I'm showing my age there, I don't know. Viva La Bam, that was a great show. All right, anyway, let's get into the meat and potatoes though here. So I want to cover Black Ops Gulf War. We, we have some leaks, we have some new leaks and I'll just say this, guys. I have been playing this series for so long. I, I, just, I don't want to repeat myself on how long I've been playing it, but a long, long time. Go to my channel, sort by, like, earliest upload dates. You'll see. If you're interested, you'll see. And I have seen it all. I got kind of excited about this Sledgehammer Parkour game mode because it's actually something new and innovative, and that's... God, man, that's what we need. And, and I'm, I'm saying this right now. Like, no amount of content, no amount of microtransactions, no amount of uh, EOMM PSYOP shit is going to keep players interested. Call of Duty is kind of doing this right now. They're, they, they don't care about the long-term players. They do not. They only care about getting new morons in to play their game. They only care about making that $70 yearly sale. They only care about getting you to log on once a month. They only care about feeding their overpriced MTX to whales. $80 glove. $80 glove! $80 glove! $100 cheetah print thing. You gotta spend $100 on Call of Duty merch to unlock this stupid camo. And it doesn't even look good. Looks like a fat black woman's getup you'd see at Walmart or something, man. I, I just... 
I don't get it. I do not get it. And they're testing the waters to make this even worse. They're testing the waters to make this even worse. But beyond that, they are content to coast and recycle and bring us essentially nothing new. Now, I I love Treyarch. I do. I've been kind of a Treyarch fanboy. I've loved every Treyarch game except Cold War. What a piece of garbage that was. It's raining. It's pouring. Cold War is boring. We're about to bring that catchphrase back and just replace Cold War with Gulf War because, uh, oh man, let's take a look at these leaks and I'm going to show you what I have such a problem with. It's just rampant recycling and coasting. It is the same exact thing we have been getting for decades now and it's old. So these are some official, I guess they're official leaks for Black Ops Gulf War. This game's been leaking ever so slightly since last year. I think they're actually ahead of schedule for once, which is good. But take a look at this perk list. This is not all the perks in the game, but take a look at all these perks here. These are just gathered from the uh, default classes from the game. And do you see what I see? Are, are you really looking and are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because I am seeing nothing new. This is a problem I have with Modern Warfare 3 even. Like, everything they brought us perk-wise, it's all stuff we've seen before. Everything they brought us killstreak-wise, all stuff we have seen before. And I'm so sick of it. I, I understand keeping what works, keep the core things that work, but they don't even do that. They change that. They change, like, the core of the game and how it plays and moves and then, like, give us the same old perks and killstreaks we've seen for 20 years. It's no wonder people aren't happy. It's no wonder people are so critical. It's no wonder that Modern Warfare 3 sold 40% less than Modern Warfare 2 because it's just the same thing. It's the same game. You can't keep recycling. I'm not quite sure what Slayer and Operative is, but I'm pretty sure those are going to be, and that they could have been something in the past that we've already seen, and I'm just drawing a blank, but like most of this stuff, it's just, it's the same old thing. What I would give, what I would give for just a complete overhaul, completely new perks, completely new kill streaks, never before seen. It's something, you know, uh, just, I don't know, brand new maps that have like an entirely different flow, maybe not even three lane, maybe just be experimental with it, but make sure it's good at the same time. Now, some people will say like, well, when they do try something new, people complain. That's not true. When they try something new and it's fucking stupid, yes, people complain as they should. Modern Warfare 2 is a prime example of this. They come out with this time release perk system. No one likes it because it, ser it literally serves no purpose. It's pointless. It's change for the sake of change. It's like you wake up one morning and you have your salt and pepper there. And then someone replaces the salt shaker contents with like sugar. It and someone replaces the pepper contents, the ground pepper contents with fly shit. It looks the same, but it serves no purpose other than to make your life worse! Am I lying there? Tell me when I'm telling lies. Come on, man. N new ideas when they are awful. Yes, we don't like them. New ideas when they are good. Yes, we love them. Remember the Pick 10 system. The Pick 10 system came out with Black Ops 2 universally praised the fact of the matter is guys the fact of the matter is i i truly am exhausted at the recycling again i i've said this countless times one of the biggest one of the biggest complaints about my content is that i make the same video over and over look at that perk list go back and look at that perk list and tell me what in the hell am I supposed to do to make new videos when I keep getting the same exact stuff as in that perk list? And you might be saying like, well, I don't mind the recycling. If it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's totally fine. I get that. But the thing is, is that the things that are broke will not be fixed. Skill-based matchmaking is going to be turned up higher than ever. I, I thought with Microsoft's acquisition, things would change. And then we get an $80 King Kong glove and $100 fat black woman cheetah print camo thing. 
Nothing's going to change. It's just going to get worse and worse because people keep buying it. It does not matter how much people complain. It does not matter even how many players they lose. They can just release some doobie bundle and get some morons to be like, oh, well, I smoked weed one time like two years ago. I'm going to buy this. It's just dumb, stupid stuff, man. Another problem that these devs have is that they don't work together to move the series forward. They all kind of split off and do their own thing. And it's like two steps forward, one step back. In some cases, one step forward, three steps back. And Infinity Ward's, you know, a particular mindset of, of game development. But um, Treyarch and Sledgehammer, I think, are trying. I, I think they have definitely pulled ahead of Infinity Ward here. But, I mean, again, Treyarch aren't really working with Sledgehammer on the multiplayer component. Sledgehammer aren't really working with Treyarch on the multiplayer component. Yeah, all the devs are kind of combined here, but each Call of Duty has, like, a lead team that has their own vision, and you can't really truly innovate, I feel like. You can't truly move the series forward and make the games better and better as time goes on like they used to be because every studio is kind of like wanting to just make their own thing here. And then you add in crunchy microtransactions to get more and more expensive, bad servers, bad matchmaking, things outside of the devs control that continue to get worse like the main mainline Call of Duty devs or whatever. And it's just it's just a mess. It just continues to get worse. While I commend Modern Warfare 3 for being a better game than Modern Warfare 2, being better than the dirt worst, the the universally panned, like worst in the series Call of Duty ever isn't saying much. You took the game and you patched it, Sledgehammer. Great job. I mean, I'm not even being like facetious here. Great job with that. Seriously. You took a mess of a game and you've made it decent but you're still working from behind you still have the worst multiplayer servers i have ever seen a cheating epidemic the likes no one has ever seen horrendous skill-based matchmaking recycling and lack of innovation overall because you're kind of pigeonholed into making this game and running it by infinity ward and activision blizzard and whatnot and again those false band waves that's a problem too people are saying like ah there's no false band waves Look at this image and tell me that this isn't the most incompetent company of all time. They even got the Dune phone number wrong. They, they gave some guy's phone number in like Texas. He's probably getting texted off the hook about Dune shit. He doesn't know what's going on. But like, look at this. There's no character named Wood. It's Woods. It's not Wood. And then Price and Soap are mixed up. Their own toys. Like they don't care. They make mistakes. There are false bands. That's a problem too. I mean, guys, I'm out of time. I don't know what else to say other than if you're going to get hyped for Gulf War, take that hype way down for your own sake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace. Advice.